Hello everyone, AJ on here, another company or super replay. So on the north side, as the uh, USF player, we have Rachmaniov. Rachmaniov? Maniov? I really don't even know how... Maninov? Why don't I even try to pronounce a lot of names? And Sup King. So on the south side, as the OKW player, we have Black Rider and the austere player, Snowflake. Funny thing is, as I was loading up this replay, the dialogue for saying Rifleman defensive structures was immediately announced. So this doctrine was locked in the second, the like millisecond as this replay started. Like it was in the, as my screen was going to load the screen, going black and then load up the, it was in the middle of the black uh, between the loading screen and the actual replay itself. I started hearing this dialogue. So this, I'm not sure if this was actually a misclick or what, but he immediately locked this doctrine in within the first millisecond. You have some Panzer Fusiliers have been called on in with another doctrinal block lock in with breakthrough. So we both have Yag Tigers and Pershings. Don't you see MO twenties and guards? ML uh 120s and guards and 85s. Or IS2, oh ISU 152 and guards. So guards. He even went for uh, tier one as well. So it looks like he's going to stall out, get a squad of conscripts, perhaps a sniper, the M3, and hopefully by that time he can get out some guards. I'm guessing. We have uh, both Volksgrenadiers as well as Panzer Fusiliers. Echelons do have four windows over there, so they should be able to do some damage, but they receive more damage in return. We got Revenant behind the heavy cover. Do uh, quite a bit of good flanking shots onto the MG42. They are quite close to the Grenadier squad, but I believe they're outside the in, uh, unit range of point blank. So the cover is fully activated. We do got some pioneers here rushing into the riflemen. They should be able to be ward away, no issue. But the Grenadiers were able to get out some free shots in the meantime. However, we do have some combat engineers on the far area. Oh, there goes that pioneer squad. You have the sniper out. Their first shot should start coming in. First shot? First, actually, no, that's two. That was the second shot. Where did the first shot go? The pioneer. We saw one of the things was I thought it was from the combat engineers getting a kill, but it was actually from the combat from the pioneers. While losing the pioneers is a bit problematic. It's nothing huge. It's a minor loss, really, of all things to lose. Conscripts are very bunched up. We have an austere sniper, probably for a counter snipe operation. He could potentially go for 2-2-2s, two -two seeing how he knows about the tier 1, so he only has to worry about penals rather than Zis. The penal squad, first sign of vehicles, I'm going to assume he's going to upgrade it with ETRSs, but then again, he has a lot, all of his doctrines has guards, so perhaps not. Another sniper shot does hit a Grenadier model. The Grenadiers are now sending fire towards the sniper. It has to be very careful with the sniper. Ah. The sniper took out the low health model. It was not super great, but he does. Nice snipe with the sniper. First shot, first kill, and a very critical kill. But we do have a sniper to counter the sniper, which countered the sniper. And which I read, it's one thing I really don't like about sniper battles. I would definitely change snipers and how they work in general, make them more like the light infantry squads. Rifleman here, should we go behind this uh, truck? He doesn't have frags, so I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to do. There's a lot of guys here, if he can focus fire them down pretty easily. We've got Sturm Pioneers on the flank as well. These riflemen need to fall back sooner rather than later. Conscripts and heavy cover as well should get some good damage off. While he's fighting against two squads, the sniper is pretty much going to determine the battle because these squads are quite low. The conscripts could have brought with them, but the sniper is just going to make an easy win. Uh, 
Flash Mortar Crew has arrived. Not a mortar crew, mortar half track. So you have Dr. Lockin of Spearhead. Spearhead? Mortar half tracks are always pretty good. They may not seem like much, but the mobility is just make and survivability makes them so valuable. I mean, you can't really kill them with gunfire, they can run away pretty easily. <clears throat> and their rate of fire is pretty good. They're like, the, I think they're a little bit better than a regular Oshtier Mortar, but I could be wrong about that. What probably makes them much better is also the fact they don't have to take time to set up. They can stop pretty much a fire shot pretty quickly and then just pack on up and go away. The mobility is what gives them so much power, plus the incendiary rounds. Nice shot right there. Does get one Maul's just wounded in the rest. And now the Grenadiers of LMGs will ward away those riflemen, no problem. This church is being, being very problematic. You have a squad of guards been called on in. There's not enough munitions for the DPs. Nice uh, heavy cover for the MG42. We'll ward away those HG squads, no problem. We do got a sniper here. Trying to eye for the other sniper. He definitely knows it's right there. This sniper... Oh, looks like he can, uh, retreated back. He may have been a misretreat, but he may have been spotted in the Grand Deer, so we'll only have to take a quick look at them. But he definitely knows about that sniper now. He is immediately into hold fire counter sniper operations. He may actually not realize that sniper retreat. Retreated. Not sure. Grand, these uh, guards definitely need a retreat, however. Does not secure up the fuel point, though the allies do have their fuel point secured up, and nothing engaged in this VP over here. That can be rectified. We have a steward on the build queue, so the USF player is eyeing for some light armor. We do have a Panzer II out on the field. That makes that Stuart very, very good at this point. About ready to deploy. No signs of grenade upgrade. No weapon rack upgrade either. But we do have the Bazooka upgrade on the Lieutenant. Ooh, that Mortar Half-Track is doing some really good work. The Sniper does not want to fire. Consider rounds, that's a waste. The sniper is very close to where the incendiary rounds are coming down. He does fire a shot on top of the MG42. He may not realize the sniper is there, but the rifleman and lieutenant is not moving forward. And, the, and there is a snare and bazooka hunting down that half track. Let's get a nice hit right there. We do have the steward out on the field. There is a pack 40. And the Panzer II could draw fire away from the half track. There we go. One pack 40 shot in, but one bazooka shot in as well. Panzer Fusiliers with the G43 upgrade on the flank should be able to ward away the lieutenant, no problem. And the lieutenant goes ahead and retreat. Sniper, the rear echelon, just trying to decapture this point. It's not a cutoff point or anything, so it's nothing major. Potentially could see a frag on retreat, but decides not to. The Panzer Loser Fusilier frag is not very good. We have a Kettenwerfer out on the field. And we have Grenadiers captured at this point. The fuel point was captured by the Axis players. Oh, it wasn't in uh, supply. T-70 out on the field, so we do have two light tanks. Pack 40 is very critical, and he needs to also keep these Grenadiers. Ooh, looks like he's going to eye to take out that uh, half track, but he has to be very careful of this uh, Pack 40. 
The T-70 does not have very good vehicle damage, and the Pack 40 did not set up in a proper angle, so the half track will, of course, easily get on out. We do got two Panzerfausts right here. He could easily snare the Stuart as well as the T-70. Pack 40 going the wrong direction, so the snares will only help cover their own retreat. We do have more snares coming in over here. And the Panzer II is going to I move on forward. Does not get a snare off right there. All this infantry is quite wounded, so he's going to need to retreat back sooner rather than later. There is no med bunker back at home. That sniper really needs a blood transfusion. Ooh, nice uh, hit on the MG42. Does good with the models. AT gunshot does a hit. The steward, the cannon warfare does line up a shot, does get an impact as well. Looks is being engaged. The 50 cal is not using armor piercing rounds. I think he has to use armor piercing rounds to have any chance in order to deal damage to the looks. But the bazooka is warding away. We do got Thompson Rangers out on the field, as well as a sniper now responding. The Thompson Rangers did fire at at the building, and as well as the bazooka. Gotta redirect fire towards the looks, because there's no way in chance that the building's gonna go down anytime soon. Lieutenant has sustained quite a bit of fire. Another bazooka shot. Eyeing for a snare right now. Lieutenant does secure the point, but forced to fall back. Looks will go ahead and just stay back and repair. We kind of went for back over here. Lost a couple members, perhaps to the sniper. Still a one of a kind I played by the Soviets. Haven't built a single duplicate unit. Let's assume the penals from Mongolia, because they were also serving uh, the Soviet Union as another, well, not technically part of the Soviet Union, unlike Tanatuva. Oh, got a pretty nice hit onto the sniper. Another good hit on the sniper. And no snare onto the T-70. He does have enough munitions to upgrade of the... Uh, STGs. I'm not sure why he's not getting it. Only a main power by the OKW player. He could perhaps get... He does have an MG-34 as well as a Vekanenwerfer. So he could potentially get another Vekanenwerfer. Or an MG-34. We've got quite a bit of Soviet units over here. Sniper, Penals, Guards, T-70. Over here, the U.S. player is capturing up multiple points at once. MG-34 defense right here. Panzer Fusilli is here. MG-42 with force withdraw right there. Another Austria sniper out on the field. I, at this point, I would say it's enough and nothing. This sniper is out on the field. This sniper has made itself known. One kill so far. Pioneers receiving hits from the opposing sniper, and we do got the mortar half track. There's some sort of barrages coming on down. I think it may have been incendiary. I'm not sure. Looks severely damaged. The Kenner Ruffer rolls a miss. We do got one, two pounds of Faust. One shot away from death, and ooh, 120 millimeter mortar getting some good hits in. The 250 half tracks seeing quite a bit of damage. Another good hit there. Peter says do have the extended range of 40 rather than the standard range of 35. Can be a bit misleading sometimes. Oh, we got the steward pushing around the side. Panzer Authorization is cute, but he's going to get some Obsadotsen first. Obsadotsen, of course, a very effective unit at all times. Use Panzer Authorization in order to get the LMG upgrade. We've got two uh, Thompson Rangers, as well as at least one 50 cal and one captured Pack 40. When did he get that? Is it over here? It must have been decreed by the Soviet sniper. You got the Pack 40 engaging looks. 
still needs to sustain two more hits till death, but Thompson Rangers, yeah, these folks, these guys need to get on back. Again, our warfare is set on up, but nothing to gauge the Thompson Rangers. There's actually more Thompson Rangers right here, as well as the 50 cal setup. These mass retreat by the OKW player, just getting way outgunned. Ooh, nice shot by the uh, Stewart. Austria Snacker is stealthy, waiting to get a good shot. Soviet Sniper is still alive, being very defensive, just playing a counter sniping operation. But the so Austria Sniper hasn't been in an area long enough in order for the Soviet Sniper to engage. Senior rounds coming in from the MG42. Do have the Panzer IV out on the field. The Panzer IV, of course, an excellent medium team. Uh, looks like the U.S. player being a bit cocky. The Allies do have a significant portion of the map, so the Axis players have to really start pushing for points, resources, and whatnot. But they do have now the first medium tank on the field. And now he's going straight into the uh, satchel charge range, but was not fast enough to react. MG42 should be able to suppress that uh, group. But he does throw a satchel right there. Ooh, good shot by the, by the mortar half track. Trying to repair the unit, but in middle combat, not a good idea. Over here we do got the austere player engaging the USF player. The can work for not a good angle, but we do have seen multiple squads of old Zalots and out on the field. I need to just to engage those what's it called? Rangers at long range of superior firepower. The pack 40 has destroyed that tractor that was right there. We do see only medical crates here. If he would ask the Austria player to build him a medical bunker, I think he would oblige. The medical bunker there would be quite nice. He could have placed one in between the two, but three medics at long range is not enough for two players. Having his, uh, the Okada player having his own medical bunker can be quite nice. Looks like the Volksgrandiers are pinned down. Lieutenant will get pigeon and shot run right there. And does the crew be 50 cal right there? That 50 cal was a big monster for him to deal with, suppressing all of his units, but now he can actually secure it for his own usage. And four, I ain't engaged at T70, does get one shot in there, needs another two more. Looks like somebody destroyed the uh, sandbags. Sniper still just trying to do counter sniping operations. You got another shot into the T70. A lot of Peter S5 does butt in the vehicle, but however, he does get the kill on the T70. Now we do got a second squad of guards. A lot of Peter S5 as well as a marked target. Both button vehicles were used engagement. Smoking smoke does cancel the guards' button vehicle. They must maintain line of sight. Oh, we do have a drop DP right there. That can be quite handy for. Oh, well, the Pinos did upgrade with PTRSs, and I see a conscript model right there. That's some, just something to note. The conscript model does... Oh! Oh, I think he tried to get a uh, satchel, but he killed the model throwing the satchel. Oh. Rangers. I'm so sort of surprised that Grandier did not go down. Do have the hit the ground there by the guards. We do got a Sherman and Stewart on the flank. The 250 half track is a bit damaged. I think one shot from the Sherman may take it out. He definitely now knows about it. Now the Sherman tank, however, he did not know about, and that is a huge threat, especially to a wounded Panzer IV. This Grandier model is trying to go for a snare, but 
He only has one model. Auto Grandier's back home, healing up. The enemy is taking our territory. The Tiger Tank is very necessary at this point. Perhaps maybe you should just save us fuel for that. Though, getting a Stoic at this point is not too unreasonable as well. They need AT. There's a lot of light vehicles. As well as now on T-34-85, there's going to be a lot of medium vehicles. Stuart. The T-70 is dead, however. And the US player is now making an advance, but... I'm pitching with two bazookas onto this building. The building has a lot of health and it's very cheap to replace. Losing it's not a huge deal. Plus, he doesn't need to replace it. So, the Panzerfaust does require this building, but I believe with the Obosadotsen adjustments, I not Obosadotsen, Ostrupen adjustments, I believe it can require either Tier 2 or Tier 1. So, it's not actually dependent on having that structure. Yeah, he still has the Panzerfaust. A lot of U.S. infantry right here. It does destroy the building, but like I said, it's a minor loss. There's a Yog Pons on the build queue. Not seeing off the Yag Tiger. They need vehicle counters now. We do got a MG42 as well as the MG34 set up right here. The T3485 has been spotted. Overall, the, here the Grenadier should win out in this again. It does do a mass retreat there. Pack 40 will be needed to do a uh, straw on its own. The Kettenwerfer does get decrewed, immediately recruited by the Sturm Pioneers. Snare on the uh, T-3485. I believe it's two shots away from death, but I could be wrong, could be just one. The Kettenwerfer rolled a miss. Guards uh, get suppressed and forced with straw. Sniper is exposed. There we go, one more shot and then it's definitely dead. A lot of PTRS fire. There goes the T-3045 to the Vikenwerfer. Now Grenadiers need to get up here and protect the ends of four upon retreat. Vikenwerfer is also retreating as well. Makes sense. No more targets for the shoot at. Let's throw out a satchel right there. Needs to do a soft retreat. There we go. Let's throw a Molotov there, but there's a large miss. Looks out on the front line now. Perhaps I need to skirt around the edges. Get some nice damage onto this guards. Sniper has retreat a long time ago, so doesn't have to worry about trying to snag, take that down. Mass retreat here by the Soviet player. We do have got the Stuart as well as the Sherman tank now both fully repaired and ready to engage the looks. Pack 40 does roll a miss. Do you also got quite a bit of idle infantry back here? It's they're all healed up. They just need reinforcements and retask out. Yag Panzer is moving to the center. Looks has sustained a bit of damage. And Deers are still alive, sustained quite a bit of damage, however. Yeah, Panzer does pitch in another shot there. And the Thompson Rangers will ward away a bunch of the Grand Deers, but the four man squad is still up and around. Yeah, Panzer does provide a nice hard counter to the Sherman tank. It does roll a miss there, but the A splash damage will do quite a bit. Only two bazookas right here. Order half track still alive, and it's actually back at base, not doing anything. So you can do a, a move forward, help with just pitching some damage. You got a reconnaissance overflight. That is something I do like to see, except for right now, sniper force withdrawal does get a bit of damage onto it. But now he sees everything yet. The reconnaissance overflight does re reveal stealth as well. These Obasads into the bet too, their accuracy greatly increases. That's when they actually start getting some really serious damage. Alright, so go ahead and hit the dirt. 3485 is engaging the Panzer IV. But we do have some snares on the way. The T3485 just rolling some misses. Even with marked target, the Panzer IV is going to actually engage. Pershing out on the field. Looks as the same quite a bit of damage. The Panzer IV scratches withdrawal. There's a lot of PTRSs right there. Looks. Severely wounded now. The Ag Panzer and Vikander Warfare does roll a miss. Pioneers, not Pioneers, Combat Engineers does try going for a snare, but none of the uh, damage will work to actually snare it. 120 million more mortar trying to engage. Bad incendiary by the mortar half track. Let's get a nice shot onto the Sherman tank. 
other guys peeling back at home. Ooh, nice booby trap. It looks like he does miss. The lieutenant was actually being body blocked. Significant damage on the right from the squad. Though if they can decap the point, we'll capture the point and withdraw. Ooh, good hit. Oh, that's a decrude gun. Your S fire engaging the half track. Another sniper shot in. Yashi or sniper? Is it still alive? No, it's not. It's probably been dead for quite some time. Grandier's on the flank. Very nice. Rifle grenade on top of the. Nope. Though so in the hit the dirt state, they actually do get crushed very easily. It's like being pinned. Oh, he may lose that squad entirely to sniper. Nope, does not go down. I was saying before, if the Unison hit the dirt, they're immobile. They can't dodge vehicles coming up to crush them. The only vehicles that can crush can still crush them. So it looks cannot. A Panzer IV can. A sewer cannot. But a Valentine can. Yeah, Valentine can actually crush stuff. Last time I checked. Jag Panzer Ford getting some good damage on the Pershing. Ooh, that's a very low health uh, Doom Pioneer, and he needs to get some help. The, the steward can go in for him, uh, uh, target weak points in order to hit the engine, but main gun destroyed on the uh, Pershing will prevent him from losing the Jag Tiger. Panzer Ford on the chase, as well as Panzer Four. Pack 40 is setting on up, but. One shot away from death. This will still take two more shots. That's the bounce. The Vet 2 extra armor does pan out. Okay, go ahead. Before he is set up, but does not get off a shot. Looks now moving on forward. He, they just need to withdraw these units. They're very wounded. Mechanized HQ does have the repair engineers. A lot of bazookas, or a bazooka, coming on in. Destroying the pack 40. Good idea. Looks could use a repair as well, but it's not too low. Oh, the 250 half track may need some support. Don't use in standard rounds on tanks. It will do nothing. It will absolutely do nothing. A lot of infantry in the area. They need to focus fire these rangers. It looks like he is focus firing quite well. Way too much long range fire. Ooh, looks like you're seeing quite a bit of damage. We've got an SU 85. That's so was a T 3045. That's a dead looks. And that is quite a bit of a blob. Not gonna lie. Canwerfer shot does connect. Second better Canwerfer out on the field. So his composition is quite well rounded. Even though a bit blobby, he has a lot of anti infantry and a lot of anti tank. It's definitely saving enough fuel for the Yag Tiger, so that will be a supreme amount of anti tank. We do also have a Tiger tank out on the field. We do got two squads of guards here. You can potentially run them over, but it looks like that entire penal squad, all the models you can see are conscripts now. That squad will only reinforce of conscript models, which I believe still have the worst receive accuracy. The dangers of merging squads. How that bug happens is, if there's only one model remaining as you merge a squad in, and then uh, other models start going down, only remaining the conscript uh, models, it causes it only to reinforce the conscript models. Huh, I just realized, that is a DP. 
Looks like that drop DP we saw earlier was picked up by the Ovisodotson. You have combined arms being used. Not ability you see actually very often, but very good usage. You've got cannon here, but they're just way outgunned. Too much anti infantry. Ooh. If you can retrieve both AT guns, it's actually quite important. Yeah, good uh, pawns are now move on forward. Does get a nice shot there, but there's still nothing to gauge the infantry in the area. Oh, here we've got the T-35, but there goes the uh, ends of four. The 250 half track may be next, but one of the shots did roll a miss. Tiger Tank needs to get over here. He needs to engage, but he's engaged with rear armor, but is engaged in the flank of the SUD-5, so take that how you will. Guess it doesn't really matter if he has oh not enough damage in order for the snare. It was very close, but not enough. I was saying before, it doesn't matter if you show rear armor or not. If you can't get hit, you can't get hit. May pack to see a snare by one of these grenadiers, but he's body blocking his own units. Egg Tiger at Veteran C2 does have access to cautious movements. Two Shermans and Pershing, that is a formidable force. The Egg Tiger is very necessary at this point. There's a lot of vehicles out in the field. So this map is very wide, making it easier to flank. He does need to put on prioritized fire. There's no point in pitching shots onto infantry. It will do absolutely nothing. You may get one model every hundredth shot, but that's about it. Ooh, that squad is... Down. Also, lots of trying to prevent the capture of the, uh, the weapon. He could throw a bundle on top of it, but it looks like he's actually not trying to secure it up. Yag yeah, Tiger. Ooh, that's a good 120mm mortar. Very blobby uh, place out right now. Targeting is on the flanks trying to prevent the areas being secured. And he's using a force of withdrawal and does lose a Volk's Grenadier. These Grenadier squads are very low health, but he will get a uh, foul stop, snaring the engine of the T-34-85 as well as the SU-85. Tiger Tank moving to gauge those units. Nice hit onto the uh, guards as well as a nice follow-up shot from the mortar. The enemy has 75 points remaining. I don't know why, but I always love seeing people who actually try to trash talk fail. Never trash talk, it's just not classy. All the Axis players are have very little VPs left. They can actually still get back in the game. Once the Yag Tiger comes out, you know, it's one minute away from fuel. There's a, a pair of uh, Kenworth first, two fresh ones. Looks like the half track may go down. Does throw a Faust there, but not enough to snare. The tiger tank is now rolling over and over. We've got the Yag Ponzer. There we go, get a shot off there, as well as an AT grenades coming on out. The cannon warfare is setting on up. Let's get a nice uh, shot right there. Engine is snared, one shot away from death. Yag Tiger, Yag Ponzer does go ahead and get the kill. I can think now chasing the uh, Sherman tank, the road providing some ex excellent mobility. This does stop. Ah, misses. And it looks like we will, in fact, see a snare right there. Everything pretty low. Pershing's still quite healthy. He uses the uh, heat back round. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Pershing rolling in some mists. Yagpons are still at full health. Can easily pitch in some damage into the Pershing. Though the Axis players are very low on tickets. We do got a decap decapture there, but the Obsidotson will most likely go down. There's a drop PTRS right there. Not necessarily a good thing to pick up, perhaps by the 
combat engineers. Grenadiers now moving on forward, very blobby style, but trying to get that point. And another Sherman tank on the build queue, so it looks like he will replace his lost Sherman. He does have enough manpower for the uh, Yag Tiger. A very necessary option. They need more AT. The Tiger tank can handle the infantry quite well. He has plenty of munitions as well for uh, the long range HE barrages from the Yag Tiger. The Yag Tiger has received some damage. It is in Faust range, but not in death by three shot range, so still take four shots from uh, uh, cannons. This is a make or break at the Axis players are down to 50 tickets. The Ag Tiger is a very necessary option. Be careful, that's not a conscript squad, that's a penal squad. Oh, let's get the snare right there. An S-85 as well as T-34-85 out on the field. He's out of munitions for Panzerfaust. Well, not Panzerfaust, Panzer Tactician. And these 30 munitions is far from it. Tiger tank does go down, but so does the uh, SU-85. T-3045 goes down as well, so that's roughly even trade. But we do got a nice flank there by the Sherman tank on the Yag Panzer. The Yag Tiger is out. Pershing somehow missed right there. Sherman tank almost went down to the pack 40. Yag Tiger now moving on forward, but he has to be very careful. He can easily get swarmed. He needs supporting infantry. The other player doesn't have a whole lot left. There's a bunch of guards, a penal, and a sniper. The 120 mm mortar is still something you have to be worried about as well. They need to capture this point. They need to get those guys on that point now. He has two pack 40s here, so that's a lot of AT. There's a lot of AT out by the Axis players. Pack 40s, they're going to get overrun by the infantry. Does get the capture that point. Do we have a soul artillery? No, he needs a bit more munitions. Soul artillery right here is quite necessary. Yag Tiger is ready to go, does have the engine upgrade. More half track still alive, is pitching in some rounds. Do got more and more reinforcing Panzer Fusiliers, as well as a Obsalot squad that hadn't fully reinforced. Yeah, it goes ahead and retreat that back. Ooh, gotta be very close, careful with those close range rangers. And so surprised they actually retreat back. That was a lot of damage they could have done. Looks like we'll, they will go ahead and decapture this point. Still a lot of AT on the field, but we do have a big flank here with a Sherman and a Pershing. But the amount of pack guns, as well as there's even a Vakadenwerfer in the area, it may not actually go all too well. There's a lot of AT. Not exactly in position, but it's on the retreat path. Pershing does now throw out grenades at that veteran seat level. If Vakadenwerfer is set up, we'll pitch in some good damage. There we go, that armor push didn't really accomplish ultimately. Well, it looks like the uh, Axis players may just lose out by some VPs. Ooh. And that's the end of the game. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.